hello guys welcome to a new video and in this one we're going to do another activity and it is going to be on multi-area OSPF and what we're going to do is configure multi-area OSPF v2 so let's take a look at the background of this activity in this activity we will configure multi-area OSPF the network is already connected and interfaces are configured with IP before addressing the job is to enable multi-area OSPF v2, verify connectivity, and examine the operation of multi-area OSPF v2. Okay, great. So it's telling us to configure OSPF on router 1. And we're going to give it a router ID of 1.1.1.1. And we're going to advertise each directly connected network on, in OSPF v2 on router 1. So we have to have area in area 0. We see that we see that we need to add 10.2.1.0, 192.168.10.0, 192.168.10.0, 192.168.10.0, 192.168.10.0, 192.168.10.0, 192.168.10.0, 192.168.10.0, 192.168.10.0, 192.168.10.0, 192.168.10.0,
it should come up there we go it went up as you can see the neighbor is one that one that one that one which is this router right here water one now let's add the next one which is um, that four in the same area and the same wildcard mask let's wait a minute or a couple seconds so it can load oh never mind it's not going to load because we have not configured router 3 yet now let's add the last one which is 10.2.1.0 and slash 24 2.1.0 walk our masses and then with 255 because it's a slash 24 an area of zero as well and that one should come up and there it is it is up so this router is done now let's go ahead to router 3 and do the same okay Let's go over here, enable, config terminal, and do a router, press PF, press ID01, router ID 3.3.3.3. First network that I'm going to add is going to be these two networks 192.168.2.0. Walk our mass of 255, area of I believe this is area two. Let's see. Let's give it a couple seconds so it can load. Cause I can't, see, I can't really see the area over here. Okay, yeah. So it is area two. And now let's add the other one, which is that one. And the area of two as well. Let's give it a second so it can come up. And then we're going to add the last one, which is 192.168.10.4 slash 30, which ends in 3. Wall card of 3. There we go. This season went up. Now let's do a network. 192.168.10.4 and 0 .0 .0 0 0 0.0.0.3. Area of 0. And there it is. We already formed a neighbor relationship. With router 2, which is this one right here. And it so repeat OSPF neighbors. We can see we are neighbor with 777, 6666, which are these two routers over here. Small routers, we can't we can barely see it. And then we form our relationship with router 2 as well. And we should be able to ping. If you can ping any interface, let's see what we have here let's do a show run and we should be able to print 10.1.1.1 .1 .1 .1. and there it is so it is working and when you are done with your activity what you could do is check results and there it is congrats you have successfully completed the package activity okay and that is it for this video and thank you guys for watching and I'm going to leave this link below so you guys can download this activity and do it yourself. Thank you for watching and have a good one. Bye bye.